Hi guys! This is a cat tutorial. <laughs> These two inspired this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to film another Halloween tutorial, except this time I was super inspired by this little cutie right here. This cat, I have two cats. I don't know where the other one's at. Hopefully it's not peeing in my house somewhere. They're my outside farm cats and they are the sweetest little girls in the entire world, as you can see. <laughs> Why are you so cute? She's such a good cat, and she's so soft. Anyways, I love these little shits, and if you want to see how I did this kitty cat tutorial, then go ahead and keep watching. All right, so I'm going to start off with my foundation. Today I am using the L'Oreal True Match in W5 and the Flat Top Kabuki brush. We're just gonna buff that in all over and bring it down the neck. And next we're gonna take the Becca Full Coverage Concealer to cover up a couple blemishes that I have. Then we're gonna prep our lips with the Jouer Lip Balm. And then we're going to go in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15 and we are going to highlight. This is probably one of the key points of this makeup tutorial is highlighting the under eyes and um, giving it that cat-like shape. We're also going to put this above our lip and on our chin to create that round um, accentuated mouth area that a cat has. And take your beauty sponge, sponge and just blend that out. Try to keep it concentrated in the areas that you applied. If you blend it out too much, your face will just end up looking white and that is not what we want. We want to keep this product in the areas that we first applied it. And I'm also going to um, put it on my eyelids just to prime my eyelids too. Next, we're going to take the Anastasia Contour Stick in Mink and we're going to start shaping out the face. I'm gonna contour like I normally would, but then when I get to the cheek area, I'm really gonna round it out and create that cat, that cat face. I took a small flat top kabuki brush and I'm just gonna blend that out. Really wanna accentuate that cheek area. And you can go back and forth with your beauty sponge like I did and just kind of blend, blend with your brush and then blend with your sponge. And with this product too, you really want to keep this product in the place that we put it to. You don't want to blend it out too much, so be careful. You just want to keep it concentrated in the areas that we applied. You can already see it getting that cat, cat face shape. Keep going back and forth and just take your beauty blender and kind of blend everything, making sure everything is seamless. Now I'm going to take the Kabuki, the F80 Kabuki by Sigma, and I'm just going to blend it even further. Blend out any harsh lines. Um, don't blend above the main line. You want to just blend it down below. Don't blend up into your concealer area. You want to keep that really light. Just blending out all of the creases in the concealer. And now we're going to go in with the Fenty Beauty matchstick in Mocha and we're going to warm everything up a little bit. The Anastasia um, Mink contour stick is awesome for really contouring but it's more gray tone so the reason why I did this extra step is just to warm the whole face up. Give it a little bit more color, you know? 
a little more color and a little more depth. And again, try not to blend that up into your concealer. You wanna leave the concealer area very light and white. We're gonna bounce out any creases that may have formed under the eyes while we were blending, and we are gonna set it. I'm using a combination of the Ben Nye Pretty Pink and the Kat Von D Translucent. I mix those two together and just set all of the white areas that we did. So under the eyes, around the mouth area, on the chin. You want these areas to be really white and prominent. This is what's giving us the cat face shape. This is the most important part. Next I'm taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette and the white color and I'm going to accentuate the whiteness even more. I didn't think it was white enough so Go ahead and do that all over the same areas that we put the setting powder. Now I'm just taking a clean powder brush and just blending everything, making sure everything looks really nice and clean. Next, I'm gonna take my Anastasia Contour Kit and this warm shade, and I'm gonna further contour over the areas that we already contoured, just to accentuate it even more. It's a lot of blending and going back and forth with colors. You can always build up, but you can't take away. So slowly build up color, blend it out with a clean brush, and you can always go back and forth and keep doing that. Next, I'm gonna take that Fenty Mocha Match Stick and I'm going to contour out the nose area. So for a cat nose, you wanna make it a little bit wider than your normal nose. Um, so contour it out a little bit thicker on the base than it nor you normally would and I'm just kind of feathering it out on the sides to give it a little cat nose shape. I'm bringing it up into the brow bone and then we're gonna connect our eye eyeshadow to that later on. So go ahead and blend out any creases and then set your eyeshadow base with the translucent powder. And now we're going to further deepen that nose contour, bringing it into our eye area. So I did one eye off of camera and we will go ahead and start with the next. First we're going to start by doing our brows. For the brows I wanted them to be very bushy. So I did, you know, normal brow routine but then when it came to flicking up I flicked up a lot here and just made them really bushy and thick. Now we're gonna take some hairspray and just set them up. You want those front, front hairs to look really bushy, so don't be afraid to set them up. We're going to highlight underneath of that brow bone with the white shade. Next, we're gonna take a mixture of these two shades and we're just going to start defining the crease. We're gonna bring that out and really create an elongated, bigger eye shape. And we're kind of connecting it to that nose contour, if you can see. Now we're gonna take a smaller brush and this warmer shade, and we're really gonna start to connect it to the nose contour and create the cat eye shape. And here I'm just taking a clean fluffy brush and going back in and buffing out any edges. Now we're gonna take the darker brown shade and we're going to fill in the outer V area of our eye just to deepen it up. And wipe away any excess fallout with a clean brush. I'm just deepening up that crease. clean brush once again. It's a lot of back and forth, like I said, 
adding product, buffing it out. Now I'm going to take the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC and I'm going to start carving out the eye area. I want to create the illusion of a bigger eyelid space and we're also going to put some glitter down here. So put that up into your crease. When you get about three quarters of the way, start feathering it so it makes a nice gradient. Now we're going to take this pink shade from this Too Faced palette and we're just going to set that. And now we're gonna go back in with the sh warm shade again and we're just going to buff that out and make sure there's no harsh line there. And now we're gonna take the Eye Candy Cosmetics Liquid Sugar Glitter Glue and this rosy gold shade and we're just going to apply some glitter. This is a shadow shield. This is gonna help protect from any fallout that you may have. And apply your glitter. I apply the glue directly to my brush and then I just dip into the glitter pot. Works really well. And fan it because this stuff has alcohol in it and it needs to dry. Okay, now we're going to start with the liner. You're going to create a huge wing for this look. And this is probably the hardest part for me is creating this cat eye in the front corner of the eye. Um, so you're just going to bring it down. Look at your eye shape before you start to do this and create that, it's almost like um, an angle. So you want to create this line and then connect it on the outside corner with your wing. And then bring that wing straight up because we want that slit eye look. If that makes sense. Now I'm just going to apply some mascara. And we're gonna be applying the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes. I'm gonna be doing a full eyelash tutorial very soon, so be on the lookout for it. Now we're gonna take those same two shades and we're gonna bring that underneath the lash line. We're gonna be creating the effect of a larger eye, so that top little wing on the inside corner, we're gonna connect it to a bottom one just to make the eye look a little bit larger. See how that created kind of a more open cat eye look? I keep saying cat eye. Just buffing the shadow underneath of that line once it's created. Now I'm gonna go in with the black and really define it out even more. And I'm going to take a little bit of that white shade and try to keep that in the center of those two lines. And a little bit above. I'm going to go in with that brown warm shade again. Just accentuate it even more. And I'm going to put on some bottom lashes too. These are from Jordan Liberty. Liberty, oh, what's the name of his business? Liberty Republic. I'm going to have to look it up. I'll link it in the bottom bar. I love Jordan. Now I'm going to take the Cella Brow Highlighter Pencil and I'm just going to put that inside my waterline. This is going to also make your eyes look more open and larger. And a little bit of that brown shade just to conceal that lash band and blend everything together. Put a little bit of black on there too. Add a little mascara to blend everything again. Now I'm gonna take the Snazaroo face paint with a little Fix Plus and I'm gonna start mapping out the nose area. I'm just using a really tiny little brush. I keep referencing a photo, so sorry for looking down a lot. I had wished after doing this that I would have put it a little bit lower down on my nose. I went a little bit too high but it still looked good, so 
I'm gonna take a little of that warm shade and just contour out this little Cupid's bow area, making it look a little deeper. And we're gonna take that black paint again and just connect the nose down into that crease. Go ahead and fill in the nose with that warm brown shade. And then we're gonna take a black shadow and a tiny brush and just blend out the edge so it looks nice and seamless. And you can bring that black down onto that line a little bit too, give it a little more depth. Now we're going to take the white from the Kat Von D palette and we're going to accentuate that mouth area even more. You can really see it starting to come together and looking like a cat now. Go ahead and add a couple little dots for the whiskers. And then we're gonna start by creating a black line for the lip area. We're just gonna do the top lip. So just trace out your lip line. And then we're going to put a little translucent powder in your oily T-zone area. Take a little bit of that warm brown shade again and just accentuate the contour a little bit on our nose. Taking the warm shade from the contour kit and we're just gonna go in and further deepen our contour. Now we're gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Hustla Baby and we're going to highlight the tops of our cheekbones, on our brow bone, down our nose. Now I'm gonna take the color Red Rum by Jeffree Star Cosmetics and we're going to apply this to our bottom lip and then right underneath of that black line on our top lip. You can go back in and touch up that black line if you want. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. Be on the lookout for more Halloween tutorials. I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch more. You can follow me on Instagram to at Miss Jodi, M-I-S-S-J-O-D-I. And until next time, I will talk to you guys then. Peace. Hey, bye.